Evis's Cameo machine is always watching shot time. But sometimes, as a barista, I like to change the desired extraction time because we're using a different coffee or because I've decided that it needs to be longer or shorter. Now, this is really easy. Instead of manually changing a grinder and fiddling around, all I need to do is tell the machine what I'm aiming for, and then it's going to execute that for me. So let's jump into the grinder menu and the ETC calibration so I can show you exactly how that's done. So let's go into the beans and grinder menu and then to the ETC configuration. Now here we get to choose which of our products are going to be used for the ETC calibration. In this case, we're going to use the double espresso recipe. Let's go to the next screen. You can see here that we have 23 seconds plus or minus three seconds. Now this means that 23, 24, 25, 26 seconds is acceptable and 23, 22, 21, 20 is also acceptable. Now that doesn't mean that the machine is okay with a shot that's too long or too short. It just means that it's always going to be aiming for 23, give or take a little bit of error. So if I want to change down to 21 seconds as my target, I just change the arrows, go to the next screen, and here we have the automatic calibration. So I press this button, the machine will continually make espressos aiming to achieve the correct amount of coffee and the correct extraction time. And once it's done, it will stop and let me know that the calibration is complete. This is the part of the process that you can't rush because the machine needs to know exactly how this coffee is responding to the water pressure. So we need to wait for those espresso shots to finish so that the machine can adjust itself to make sure that all the parameters are correct. Okay. The first shot that's come out is 20 seconds, and we can see on the screen what actually happened during that calibration. So here on the screen, we can see grinder calibration successful. Our shot time was 19.8 seconds, although we were aiming for 21, that's definitely within the window. And our amount of coffee was 18.7 millimeters of grinds inside the brewing chamber, and our target was 18. So both of these are within spec. Now after this is done and we go into service or we start making this espresso for real for customers, the machine is going to continue to, to adjust those variables, getting closer and closer to our targets. Now that these two variables are close to what we're aiming for, the ETC calibration is complete and we can start making coffees for real. But the machine isn't entirely happy with these settings yet. It's going to continue to adjust those two things like a thermostat for a heater or an air conditioner, constantly maintaining those levels throughout the day which means that our coffee is going to always be on recipe.